here's the deal. Migrating to GA4 is a once in a decade opportunity. Really, this stuff comes up once every 10 years or so where a major platform shift has to happen and where everything needs to move. So this is a once in a decade opportunity, and I think we should treat it accordingly. Most orgs haven't rushed yet to switch over. And the reason why is because, and this isn't placeholder text, I actually put this in there, because of an excuse. There's a myriad of excuses that you can use as to why you haven't switched over. Maybe you haven't switched over because you think that Google's going to give you a migration tool where they're just going to do it for you, like they did from classic analytics to universal analytics back around 2013 or so. Maybe you think that's going to happen. It's not not going to happen the way we want it to as much as I want to. You often need a technical helper to implement the code properly. That's just the case. Most marketers need a technical helper to implement the code properly, especially as you learn about the advanced techniques, as you learn about some of the more things you can do, you end up working with web developers in order to get this to happen because you want to extend GA even further. Maybe you are doing it because you are just so used to doing your clickstream analysis in Universal that you want the better interface for GA, which it is a better interface. You want that at your disposal versus having to learn a new way of doing things or use an incomplete reporting tool. As I view GA4 to be right now, it's not a perfect reporting tool. It's not as good as universal analytics when it comes to clickability, usability, and the ability to go through it. Yeah, that's quite a, many of the really excuses that are in there. Okay. But now we have a date. Now, I haven't talked to anybody live other than in our insiders group about this date. You've seen it in my emails, though. We actually have a date, and that gets the clock ticking. Just to give you an idea as to how my clock is ticking, this forced my timeline up as much as six months to start talking about this now because I want everybody that is on my mailing list, everybody who talks to me to tell me that, or to have the opportunity to switch over before July 1, 2022, so you can have one year of data in comparison. That's my objective here. And I'm not going to rest. I'm going to spend the next two months talking about how to migrate and teaching you how to migrate and giving you a lot of resources to get there so you can make that switch so you have a year of data you can compare side by side when you're doing your analysis, especially now that we know that, that not only is Universal Analytics going to stop collecting data on July 1, 2023, but they're going to cut off access to your reports for Universal. You'll have it at least six months after this date, after July 21. But that could mean that on January 1, 2024, you don't have Universal Analytics access anymore. It's just gone. Um, it's probably likely to be sometime in 2024, just reading between the lines, maybe not on that exact day, but probably not much longer than that. So we're prepared for a time where in 2024, you cannot see any of your old data in Google Analytics. Okay, so let's talk about migrating over to GA4 cleanly and quickly. So migrating from Universal Analytics, which you may have used for 15 years, is scary, really scary, because you might have perfectly set it up. I know some of you on here are, are the ones who set things up, or you're the ones who are doing the reporting. So you might have custom dimensions, custom metrics in place. You might have lots of goals in place that you can rely on. They actually work. You might have campaign tracking for years that you have. You might have done some comparison with attribution models. You might have everything fine-tuned how you want it to. You might even be using Keyword Hero to pull in keyword data or using the Search Console integration. So all these things that we've done to extend and to work with Universal Analytics, yeah, it's scary that it's going away. And while there are a few known knowns, we know what we're going to get with GA4 by looking at it right now. We also have known unknowns. Like, are they going to give us a landing page report? Are they going to bring back bounce rate? Are they going to make the charts, the sparkline charts look like the charts inside of GA3, make them look pretty? Are they going to stay this ugly mobile first thing that they have? Those are some known unknowns. We don't really know what they're going to do. Although I've gotten indicators that there will be a landing page report and it's coming soon, right? So some of the things that SEOs look at are going to be in place. We just got to be patient, right? So, um, to summarize GA4 in a nutshell, they spent the last two years working on the back end, getting all the data collection in place, making sure that it's a world-class data collection platform under a new data model and that they can process it efficiently and they can make it all work. And now they're spending their time making the interface better, right? So two years getting the data model, right? Two plus years. And now they're starting to do things on the interface so that it almost looks like what we're used to seeing in Universal, although we know it's not quite there yet as of the time. So there are many known unknowns. And then there's, of course, unknown unknowns, which are things that we won't know until we see it. <laughs> um, so I know I'm starting to sound a little bit like Donald Rumsfeld here, but um, yeah, that's, that's just where we're at, right? There are some things we know, some things we don't know. But honestly, I think on the known realm is how to tag for GA4 
how to migrate and the differences between the two platforms, those are pretty well documented. And in fact, over at Data Driven, I have documented these things. So I have a 25 page PDF that we released to our insiders last year that is a complete migration checklist. If you wanna to migrate to GA4, this checklist gives you all that you need to see. It has everything you want, right? And so it has a step-by-step -step guide in order to what you're gonna do. How do you put the code on your site? How do you do tags? Should you use Tag Manager? What settings should you put in your Google Tag Manager? I'm just looking through this. How do you set up a property? What should that look like? Um, obviously, I'm not telling you how to set up views because they don't have views in, in GA4. The idea of parallel tracking and the concept behind that. Um, what data should you have in GA4? What's really important that you need to bring over? Um, what's your data telling you today? So there's all kinds of stuff in this guide. And this is something that we made available to those who took our Google Analytics 4 course last year, as well as those who are in our Insiders program. Okay, so that's what the guide looks like. Um, this is something where Marco, who is a data-driven insider um, from the Netherlands, he basically took this thing, printed it out and told his clients, here's my checklist for how you can migrate to GA4. He did it, he made money off of it and he's been doing implementations and migrations ever since. It is that easy where you can make this your intellectual product if you are a service provider and use my checklist in order to get the steps in. Frankly, I don't have time to do it because I'm a teacher, I'm an educator, so I don't do this as a service right now. I let you guys do that. I let you make money and, and honestly recuperate the money you, you get for all the courses and materials you might purchase from Data Driven. So a little bit more about the resource is this, that it's easy to use and it's printed. And not only that, but we're gonna be updating it. So we're gonna do a new V2.0 of this thing for 2022 with all the releases in the last 15 months that have happened in GA4. And it's gonna be coming out in what we call our GA4 toolbox in May. Now I'll talk some more about our GA4 toolbox, but it's gonna be a super awesome program. No videos at all. It's only gonna be documents and resources, processes you can use for migration, setting up things like e-commerce, getting your reports in order, getting your dashboards in order, I mean, with, with Data Studio, as well as some little tools that you can use, tools of the trade to help with your migration, debugging, and making sure everything works. And so if you just wanna have a complete toolbox, it's gonna to have somewhere around 20 to 30 resources in it. We're gonna be releasing that in May and it's called our GA4 toolbox. And part of it's gonna be this migration checklist, part of it's gonna be different processes you can use to attack this and to use this the right way. Wanna to transition to GA4 the right way? Well, the best way is to download our 30 page Google Analytics 4 migration checklist PDF. We have screenshots, checklist guide, everything you need in order to migrate to GA4. And you can get it for free at ddu.ai slash GA4. 